Hi, you are watching Kofi Drone. Welcome back. Today we've got the King Kong or LDARC Tiny 7, the perfect indoor walk. Hi, welcome back to Kofi Drones. So today we're going to have a look at the Tiny 7 from LDARC or King Kong. Uh, I think it's changed its name back to King Kong, it's really confusing now. Uh, this is probably my favourite indoor whoop. Uh, this is probably my favourite one. I've got quite a lot, but I like this one the best because I prefer the 7 size. So in the box, this is the advanced version I think it's called. So you get the drone, 5 450 high volt batteries, 3 spare shells, so you can change its colour so you get the yellow one on it and you get pink, orange and white, you get some white props, so you can change them, some pink props, some orange props, new set of grommets that go in there, I'm sorry on the board, pop removal tool and this. So this is the five way charger. Now, a lot of them come with these posh ones now that are sort of built into the case or it's a separate one. I've never used this before. This is, I put this back in the box to show it you. I've been flying it around a lot. This thing is quite incredible. You can plug it in USB or you can plug it into a, uh, a LiPo, a 3S LiPo. But it works fantastically well. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It doesn't work any worse than them other ones that just did it in the case. But it really is good. You get all that in the box. This is the F Fly Sky version. And then you get a manual. And it's just some very basic manual. So, it's obviously, you set it up on beta flight. It comes ready to fly out of the box. So you just need to set up what you want your, your switches to do. The pins are exactly as they were when I bought it. As you can see it's full of grass and stuff where I've been flying it around. So the frame's quite rigid but it's got enough flex. So this thing, trust me, has been crashing an awful lot. You've got your receiver here. So you've got your BTX antenna there, your receiver antenna there. I can't remember whether mine was down the bottom when I've pulled it out. And then you've got four brush motors. The battery is a decent fit, if not a bit tight, so the battery slides in there. Make sure you've got it somewhere near the centre, because if you're not, it will obviously pitch when you're setting off so you get your trim right. So if it's about centre, it's about spot on. So this, this goes from about £46 up to about £75, I think, at the time of this video. I got this for £55 because it was the Fly Sky version. Normally I'd buy this on the FR Sky, but for that price, I wasn't going to let it go at that money. It comes with no transmitter, obviously, so I have it on my turner So I have it set up on my turner J. I'll just plug it in and show you. So with it being King Kong, there's no OSD. So you've got no on-screen display on this whatsoever. So I have it mine set up, so I have my arm switch there. And then I have this switch in angle, horizon, and air. Really easy to set up on beta flight. Or if you've ever used beta flight, I'm going to do a video actually shortly and I'll do a video on beta flight me setting something up but it really is that simple to use beta flight on true. So this, I don't know, as I say, I don't normally buy Fly Sky stuff but at that money I couldn't turn it down. For, the, for what you get in the box it's incredible. So it's not as easy to fly as some of them about. It, it takes a bit of getting used to. If you're a beginner, pi a beginner pilot then even in angle mode it can be a bit twitchy. If it's your second quad, absolutely go ahead and buy one. You cannot go wrong. It will fly outside. I've flown it outside plenty, but it has to be a, a still day. Three, three to four mile an hour max. Anything more than that, it's all over the place. But on a still day, it flies fine. You get about three and a half minutes flight time out of the battery. And it's smooth. You look I'm going to post a video at the end, and all it is is just to show you the video quality of the camera. So it's just a quick 
two around the lounge and I flew it slowly just so you could see the better image quality. The cameras on these are the letdown in my opinion, they're not brilliant and no OSD is not great. It also doesn't have a buzzer but King Kong stuff tends not to have. They do this in the 6, 7 and 8 and they now do another version 6, 7, 8 and I think it's an X or something like that. They look exactly the same to me but they've obviously modelled them somehow. Still not got OSD. The motors are easily replaceable because they're plug in so you can upgrade the motors if you want to or they're very easy to replace and the motor are not much money at all. I think a set of four motors is about eight quid because you are probably going to burn them out. The props again really cheap but you get plenty in the back. I, I, if you can afford it I'd go for this pack because it's worth it for the five batteries because you're going to have some fun with this and one battery is never going to be enough because the basic comes with one and I think the second one up comes with three. And then this comes with a 5, but with this one you get obviously the spare canopies. So you can change its colour. You can have it pink if you want. I was going to make it pink, but I never got around to it. So, like I say, brilliant little drone. Fantastic to fly. Great for the money. You do need to have a transmitter, obviously. And you can buy this in Fly Sky, FR Sky, DSM2 and DSMX. Uh, and I think it's really good for the money. The 6 fly is really nice as well, it's a little bit slower and it's a little bit more stable but this has more fun because it's better to fly and then I have an 8 and the 8 is probably borderline for me anyway because I'm not the best flyer in the world in the house but the 8 will fly better outside. Again so you still need to have a calm day so to me the 7 is probably the perfect size. Thanks very much for watching I do recommend you get one of these if, you can, if you're looking for this type of thing. I think it's a great mini whoop. I'll leave you with some quick footage. It's only about a minute and a half when we're flying it around the lounge. You can get some kind of impression how good the camera looks. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.